Our Libra, I don't know if it recorded that first part, so let me re repeat it. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Our Libra came in fourth of most uh, views on my last bonuses on the four day run. So that's the last one. I did the Aries, I did the Taurus, I did the Aquarius, I did the Libra. So they are got they're getting the most views over my Pisces. So I gotta get my Pisces. I will have to do another Aquarius on my YouTube channel though, because it was too long to convert. My bad, y'all. My bad. I will have to give y'all another one. Uh just for my YouTube channel, but that's fine. Uh I don't mind. Sometimes these gadgets, if you don't know where the limitation of these gadgets is, and I have too many apps on my phone, so it wouldn't let me save it uh, to my phone. But, however, I will do Aries, another one just for my YouTube channel after I finish this Libra. Um, but do like and subscribe. I put the link below in the comment uh, and my prices for my private readings if you want to order one please do, uh, and I will video, send you a private video link of your reading, okay? I don't do live readings. I do pre-recorded readings, but they will still be on point. Um, I'm just shuffling these up from the last reading so I can make sure that they're shuffled. Okay, this is timing, so whenever you get it, Libra, you're meant to have it. It may or may not resonate with you at your personal situation if this is not what you're going through right now. It's perfectly okay. If it doesn't resonate, leave it with the eye of raw right here on the mat, baby. Right there on the mats. Take only what belongs to you. Okay, what, what resonates with you. It is for your rising sun, moon, Venus, cuspers, and cross watchers if they're watching uh, to spy on somebody else. <laughs> Because that's pretty much what they be doing, spying. <laughs> Lurking and spying, baby. Cross watchers. I may take that away. I may my videos may not be for cross watchers. They may just be for the sign. Oh, oh Lord. Okay. However, it's time. It's this fluid. So whenever you get it, you're meant to have it. It could be a minute from now, a second from now, it could be a hundred years from now. You're meant to have it. Thank you, Spirit Source Energy. What do you have for our Libra's overall dominant energy? What would you like them to know for their highest self? Okay. What message would you like to relate to Libra's overall energy for their greatest and highest good? Okay, we got two dropping out of there. A great love requires intimacy, trust, and the ability to share your feelings. Express your doubt and fears your likes and dislikes talk openly listen be present always with an open heart and mind Ooh, y'all gotta be trustworthy y'all gotta get intimate and intimacy requires vulnerability because you can't have love without vulnerability especially a divine love no matter what changes life brings nothing will change my love for you you give my life purpose because of you i feel safe I am forever grateful. Thank you. That's soulmate. Let's do a romance. I want to see where your energies are on the love and romance. And then we'll get a meditational stone and we'll, we'll begin our reading. Would have helped if I started that. I might have lost five, five minutes. All right. Spirit Source Energy. What do you have for our Libras for their bonus? What would you like for them to know? Love and a romance. Ooh, clap back, snap back. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay. Can y'all see that? I don't know. Can y'all see? I don't know if y'all can see it. I can't see. I can't see it. But that's what it says. Let's get a stone here and see what the universe out of the box of stones, baby. The owl box. And let's see what the universe has for you. Hold on. Uh, I, ain't, I ain't turned on my thing yet. Anyway. Uh, let me finish up this. There's first energy. Let's see what is going on. Ooh, wisdom. 
wisdom this look like my lapis lazuli stone this look like a lapis lazuli because i see a little gold in it uh-uh not really abundance wealth and abundance for the Libras out there overall energy peace Ooh. All right, so y'all meditational stones for Libra is a wisdom, abundance, and peace. So meditate on those and what they mean to you, okay? Wisdom, abundance, and peace. So you got to make peace with something. You're, you're wanting wisdom. You're wanting more wisdom. You're, more, you're wanting more abundance, but you got to learn to be peaceful, okay? Not chaotic. You got to learn to have balance. Peace is about having balance. It's about keeping the balance doing things that are in line with you and your true self that's what bring you to ultimate peace spirit source energy thank you what message do you have for overall for the libra's bonus spirit source energy it is june what is it the 18th 19th the 9th the 20th something the 19th spirit source energy. Ooh, look at y'all coming out the gate the 20th the world card so Y'all coming in with your distant past as having the world, spirit, source, energy, what seven cards we're doing so I can get to the Aries and get on with my day here, spirit, source, energy. We're doing a seven card spread, spirit, source, energy, what else for our Libra bonus? Yeah, there's a jumper. The two of pentacles, balancing things out, okay? Getting your world in balance is in the past. Ooh, Ace of Cup, a new love under there. Spirit Source Energy. What more do you have for the present for our Libras? What do you have for presently that our Libras need to know for their highest, greatest good? Oh, that crossed over the world card. We'll leave that there. This will be the highest and greatest good. Queen of Wands. There's that new Ace of Cup of Love came out. Look at y'all. And the Ace of Pinnacle. And having a decision to make. Woo! Baby. Wow. We're gonna put that back over there. Two more. Well, there's my two more. Ten of cups. And come oh, not good. Not good. Not good. Somebody feels like something has ended on the bottom. They're pressing forward and they're learning their lessons in emotional stability. All right, Libras, y'all got lessons. I see why. Okay, let's get on with it. In your distant past is the world card. And what has crossed over the world card is that a loving relationship has ended. Lovers, there is no commitment. There was no commitment. Uh, Libra, Libra, uh, you are your person. You had in the past, you thought the world of, you, you're, I can't see this thing on card. I'm trying to let y'all see the colors because they're so pretty. <laughs> That's why I keep playing with the lights because I'm trying to, I mean, I can't tell with the shades on, but it still looks like it's not lighting up the card. So I'm going to have to get a better light, uh, uh, a lamp, so y'all can see the pictures on the card when I show them. But this is the world card. So this is someone that thought they had it all or they, they saw their person as having it all or they had the world, okay, in the distant past. This it, lovers in reverse crossed over the world when I was shuffling and it landed in reverse. So this is a loving commitment that <clears throat> didn't pan out to what it was going to be. In other words, see, there's no commitment now. Somebody feels lost without a love, without love in their life. Okay. Uh, that explains why wisdom abundance and peace came out also because before you can have a loving relationship you got to see the lover in you you got to be that lover to somebody else right you have to be that abundance and peace to yourself and use that wisdom on yourself before you can have it in a relationship with somebody else so this is basically about self-love uh, it also in the immediate past is the pinnacles you working hard trying to balance things out that you're you know you're in a storm because there's kind of like splashing water at the feet. So you're trying to hold things together, hold your finances together from falling apart in the midst of a storm. Okay. Uh, this is Taurus energy. The world I think is uh, Gemini. I don't know what the world, I forget the world card. 
I forget what that one is. The lovers is oh the lovers is Gemini. I'm sorry. The lovers is Gemini, and uh, this is your pinnacle Capricorn Taurus uh, Virgo energy here with the two of pinnacles and the rainbow. You're still having hope that it's gonna things are gonna get better for you as you hold things together because you have the rainbow above. So you're trying to balance things. You're trying to balance things out as your ships start to come in or you're as you're waiting for your your ships to come in okay uh or your ships are leaving something one or the other Libra. okay your past influence is the queen of wands feeling sexy and attractive uh i mean that's your present your present influence is you're feeling sexy you're attractive you're vibrant you're you're passionate about something you want to get out there and communicate and build okay you want a new relationship coming in a balanced relationship with these two wands this new love uh of an ace of cups and this pinnacle a new a new offer a new opportunity with this ace of pinnacle and this ace of cups with a new love uh so you're seeing yourself as getting out there you know looking for a new love or a new opportunity to have love right or to have to to balance out those finances to to but you got a decision to make okay there's a decision ahead that you're going to have to make okay to get this ace of cups and this ace of pentacles okay so there there you are at the crossroad stalemate position you got to pick a path okay you got to pick a path so you're deciding now what path you're going to to make for some of you some of you haven't got there yet but some of you Libras that relate you'll you'll know what what choice or what decision you have to make this here is your future influence the the, you're influenced by having a ten of cups. You're wanting a family life, a happy home, balance, you know, ten of cups, right? But on the other hand, there's a lot of conflict and confusion around you, a lot of arguing, a lot of uh, 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 backstabbing, a lot of uh, disagreements, a lot of spying and competition. This could be also Libra feeling this way, you know, towards someone else or someone feeling this way towards you or this is the energy that is around you okay is conflict competition uh spying arguing okay disagreements okay so you're having to make a decision toward the happy home or the chaos okay you're having to make a decision do you want the happy home in the the, the influence of a happy home or do you want the, the future results of living in chaos, living in uh, confusion, okay, is what I'm getting from that one, okay, I don't even think I need to clarify none of these, because it's pretty much self-explanatory, what I just said, um, but we'll go a little further, we'll see what the challenges is, I don't need to clarify anything here, uh, All right, Spirit Source Energy, what is the challenge for Libra? Spirit Source Energy for their reading. What is the challenge? This card is sticking out at me. The loss. Someone is mourning the loss, and it could be related to this lover and this world gone wrong. So someone's crying over spilled milk out there. Uh, they had the world, and now, and they had a loving commitment with a partner, and it went south. So your holdup is not moving forward because you've lost what you appear to be as having the world in the, in that connection. So you feel disconnected. You feel unloved. You feel saddened by the loss of a commitment. Okay. And this is you crying over spilled milk, not thinking of what you have behind. You're, you're, you're focusing on what you lost. You're looking down. Someone's sad. Okay. That's the challenge. Look, see, and there's the, there's the, the pinnacle. So this, the offer fell through you didn't get married you didn't get the proposal that you had hoped for look at there high priestess and the proposal wow you didn't get that proposal that you were hoping for or that wish that you were hoping for ooh, ooh, ooh. thank you spirit source energy so that's the challenge not crying over spilled milk uh learning your emotional lessons in in uh this commitment that went wrong okay that didn't happen left you and it left you struggling so you were you were wanting this world you were wanting this commitment and this this relationship 
uh, so that there wouldn't be a struggle in your life. And that's why abundance came in. Okay? Your abundance. You saw this person as balancing out your finances, helping you balance out your finances. So this is you. You were holding things, trying to hold things together, trying to, you know, through the test, through the storms, and, and it just fell apart. And so you're, you're moping over the reason that it fell apart, the emotions behind it. You invested a lot. You invested an extra emotion compared to what that person put in. So it was uneven with the five of cups energy. What else is the challenge spirit source energy with the five of cups? What, else, what are the challenge? Clarify the five of cups. That's a jumper. Yeah. See, you were waiting for your ships to come in and they never came in. You were waiting for this relationship to work out. You were holding it together for a long time and you were waiting for this relationship to work out and it didn't work out. Okay. It was imbalanced. And that's you, the three of wands, waiting for what you invested in the relationship to, to pay out. Okay. To bring, to pay it forward in a sense with that two of pentacles. Okay. You, and the next would be the collaboration. So you wanted a collaboration with this person. Okay. Let's see what the outcome is. Spirit source synergy. What is the outcome for Libra's bonus? Ooh, in reverse. Yep. The outcome. No loving commitment. And and empty, empty emotions. So that explains the sadness. The outcome was the lover and commitment. There was there was a broken relationship, infidelity, cheating. Okay? Somebody lying. Okay. Somebody not being honest or not being truthful. So now it, it just dismantled everything about the emotions. The, the uh, seven of uh, cups in reverse. Why is this? Look at there. There's that feeling of lack. So that, that explains it. I was just going to ask, why is the seven in reverse? Well, that's why. It was uneven. Somebody was left out in the cold. So that's why. See? And they were hung. They were stagnant. The, per the person left you in stagnation or you left that person in stagnation of uh, Libra. And there's Libra showing up for their own reading for justice, wanting the justice, okay? Or somebody wanting the justice uh, for, for uh, se seeking truth, clarity, and balance and justice for this commitment going wrong and wanting your wish fulfillment, okay? Wanting that star card, that star moment to rise again and get your wish again, that's your outcome. And that's you walking away from things that no longer serve you. Or your person walking away from things that no longer serve them. However, y'all, this resonate with y'all out there. Let's see what your advice is. Spirit Source Energy. What is the advice for Libra? What is the advice for Libras out there? Spirit Source Energy. Thank y'all for commenting and watching. And uh, let me know if it resonates. Thank you for the views and the donations. This will be on my YouTube channel. This I'm doing a live Facebook reading right now, and it will definitely be on my YouTube, and I will put it down there in the comment section. Oh, the sun, the moon card just was looking at me. Oh. So, uh, uh, the moon card was looking at me. Let me see. Let me, let me make sure these, because they fail. Let me make sure they're in the upright position. They are. Okay. Oh, nope. I'm about to put them in the wrong way. Okay, so the moon card was saying something is still hidden, making sure they're in upright. What's the advice for your source energy for the Libra? What's the advice that you have for Libra overall dominant energy? What is the advice, spirit source energy? What is the advice for Libra? Ooh, there's one. The advice is somebody was moving away, but somebody's not moving away. Because it kind of was like moving away, not moving away. Let me clarify that, y'all. Spirit source energy. Uh, six of swords, spirit source energy. Spirit source energy. What is the six of swords here for? What is the six of swords here for? Let me, let me get... Let me get another deck right quick and see what this Six of Swords is here for. Because I don't know if they meant that in the upright or down because of the way I picked it up. Is this 
I got another card up in here that don't belong. Look at me, got another set of cards up in here. Oh, those are ones from the other night. I don't know how they got mixed up in there. Why is the Six of Swords here for Libra's bonus, Spirit Source Energy? Why is the Six of Swords here? Move that over here. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords? These are so slippery. The hair fent. Ah, okay. So the, the Six of... Oh, temperance. Okay. So the six of swords here is about moving away from something, moving away from stormy seas and stormy ground and stormy relationships, moving away from the two of pentacles energy here. And the moving away from two of, is going to uh, add structure and balance in your life. It's going to add, uh, it's going to balance things out for you. And also, it's going to take time. So that's temperance showing up. Sagittarius energy uh, is going to take time. You do have a Knight of Swords coming in uh, to communicate with you, however. Uh, but the moving away is going to take time. So that's why they were like wisdom, abundance, and peace as your, your stone, your meditational stones. Uh, you're, you're to learn your lesson about this situation this relationship, this uh, uh, relationship that didn't happen. Ace of Pentacles and a fresh new beginning. This Ace, of, this Knight of Swords is coming in to offer you a fresh new beginning. So that's why you have to be patient. Uh, the marriage or the commitment and the structure, the foundation will come because the Hierophant and the Temperance is right here, Earth and Sagittarius. So the balance will come, but you need to learn your lesson on everything here. Any final advice, spirit, source, energy for Libra? Look at there, slap back, clap back card. Seven of wands and nine of cups. Seven of wands, stand your ground and know that you have choices. Know that you have choices, stand your ground and know that you have choices because the queen of wands is about choices. This is about feeling so sexy and attractive that you know you're the magnet, okay? Everyone is going to be attracted to you. So stand your ground, being the queen of wands, and know that you have choices and opportunities coming in. So you don't have to settle, in other words. Ooh, that was, ooh, I like that. You don't have to settle. That's going to be the name of this. Libra Nation, you don't have to settle. That's what's going to be the name of this. Because you do got the star card. So you're meant to be successful in the community, uh, and stuff so you do have the star card which means wish fulfillment and getting your wish and your ancestors hearing you so uh you just have to be patient with temperance until it comes and work on yourself um and getting yourself balanced and learning from this commitment relationship that went bad and learning and re re regaining the world like becoming the world to yourself basically and that's what's going to give you the ten of cups that's what's going to give you, teach you the wisdom and the abundance and having that peace, okay, in those lessons. So stay optimistic about your love life. That was your cards, Libra. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for the, the uh, referrals, the, the response, the um, donations, liking and subscribing. Bing! And don't forget to hit that notification bell on my YouTube channel. The link will be below. And if you want a private reading, everything that you need will be posted below, okay, in the description box or in the comments of my post or YouTube videos, of course. Thank you all. And remember, your girl say peace, love, and harmony, because if you ain't got peace, love, and harmony in here, you can't expect peace, love, and harmony out there. So peace, love, and harmony, Libra Nation.